Mrs. Harrison, your account balance of $9,613 is now 180 days overdue. This is your fifth and final notice. If we do not receive payment within seven days, your account will be turned over to the, to the Will Armbreaker Collection Agency. Have a nice day. I haven't had a nice day since 1986. So I guess I'm due for a lucky break. And I will do whatever it takes to get one. Good evening, Cynthia. Uh, do me a favor. Never call me that again. Ooh, sorry. No offense intended. So tell me, you been a good girl? Have you lost our bet already? I've been a perfect little angel. Not bad for 48 hours. Let's see if you can keep it up. Oh, I have every intention of marrying a wholesome, decent gentleman. There's just one hitch. That being? I don't know any wholesome, decent gentleman. Mm. And that's where you come. How am I supposed to help you meet Mr. Wright? Well, by forking over a little spending money. Uh-huh. How much is a little? A hundred thousand dollars. Just think of it as an advance, okay? Well, before I answer that, I got a question of my own. What the hell are you up to? Well, it's a hell of a night. I guess that's why I wanted to leave early and come down here and spend some time with you. Really? I thought you wanted to cut out of the house so that Rachel can be alone with Carl. Well, you have to admit, Mom hasn't looked this happy in a long, long time. I'll admit it. Why, oh, I'd think I'm cutting the guy's slack. I didn't even mention the fact that the family fortune disappeared when he did. You know, after everything that I've been through, I think I can overlook... I can overlook anything. As long as Mom is even half as happy as we are. I don't think anybody could be as happy as we are right now. Oh, look! Look at that. What? Over there. Isn't that my star? See? Oh, right. You recognize it just like that now. Sure. My star is the brightest and most beautiful in the whole sky. Yeah. And my wife is the most beautiful girl in the world. My wife. It's unbelievable. We're so lucky. Hope Gary and Josie are just as lucky. He's back. It's a good start. You sure you don't mind meeting them tonight? It was my idea. I know, but you tend to do things just for me sometimes. No, I'm doing this for everybody. We're all a real family now, and I want everybody to be happy. Yeah. I want the same thing. It's just, I'm not going to expect a miracle. I don't expect a miracle. I'm starting to believe in them, though. Oh, yeah? Why is that? They found you, didn't they? Well, it's about time. Hey, you. Congratulations. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're supposed to congratulate the groom and its best wishes to the bride. The bride? I don't know where you get your information. The only aisle I'm walking down is at the grocery store. Aren't you and Chris engaged? No, we're not. We're not even dating. Since when? Since yesterday. Oh, well, I guess you didn't have time to pull out your wedding announcement. What wedding announcement? Your wedding announcement. It's in the Herald. I was just reading it. Give me that. Engagement of Antoinette Burrell, known as Tony and Christopher Madison. What the hell is this? Is this a joke? Who wrote? No, I never did this. You know what? Get McKinnon on the phone now. Okay, no problem. I don't care if he is my boss. I don't care if he's the president. He can't go around putting bogus wedding announcements in a paper like that. I can't believe he even trust something like this. What? He didn't. What? He didn't put the wedding announcement in the paper. No, no, no. This is classic Jake trying to run my life as he always does. He's the only one I know who could pull something like that off. Who, who else would do that? Me? If Charlie's not here, I don't even know where to begin to look. But what do you know? What? See that car over there? It's Ann O'Donnell. She must be inside. Well, good. Maybe Charlie's with her. If that woman has anything to do with Charlie being missing, I'll kill her. No, you won't. Okay, you're gonna stay calm. She's not my favorite person either, but all we have to be concerned about is finding Charlie right now. You're right. 
please, God, let her be here. Oh, yes, God, let her be here. All right, what did you do with Charlie? Cass. Excuse me? Oh, don't play dumb with me. My daughter's missing, and you've got something to do with it. Cass, I have no idea where Charlie is. Last time I saw her, I told her to go home. So you did see her. When was this? About an hour ago. Oh, God, I was afraid this would happen. What's that supposed to mean? What the hell did you do to her? I, I didn't do anything. Charlie called me and asked me to come see her. And I... you went, even though we agreed you wouldn't? It seemed so important to her. I just wanted to do the right thing. Oh, yeah, you're real big on doing the right thing, aren't you? So after you left her, was she, she at, at my place? No, she had followed me to the park, but like I said, I sent her home. Oh, this is great. You see my daughter against my wishes, and then you let her walk home alone through the park? I'm so sorry. Did it ever occur to you to, to try to reach me? Okay, look, Anne, why don't you just tell us what you and Charlie talked about? Maybe it'll help us figure out where she went. Uh, when I got to your place, Charlie begged me not to leave town. She said that we had gotten so close that it would feel like she was losing her mother all over again. And, and, and I, I told her that... I, I, I was trying to be gentle with her. I just told her that I thought it would be better for everyone if I left. But later, when I was walking through the park, Charlie ran up behind me. She had her backpack with her and said that if I was leaving, she was leaving too. And what did you say? I told, I tried to talk her out of the idea, and, and then when I saw I wasn't getting anywhere with her, I, I told her that I didn't want her around, that I was trying to use her to get to you. Oh, my. It killed me to say it, Cass, but I had to get through to her somehow. I thought if I gave her a harsh send-off, maybe she would get over me faster. Maybe I went too far. God, I, if anything has happened to her, if this is why she ran away, I, the last thing I wanted to do was hurt Charlie. If she is hurt in any way, it's your fault, and not just because okay. of what you All did right. today. All right, Cass, please, this is no time to start pointing fingers, okay? Uh, we have to get out of here. We have to start looking for her. I'll help you look. The hell you will. You're the reason she's missing. Cass, use your head. The more eyes we have, the better. The question is, where would she go if she were upset? Well, sometimes she likes to visit Frankie's grave. Okay, well, let's start there. Maybe we'll find her. I hope so, because if I don't find her, I'll never forgive myself. Or you. Should she stick around? I never do. You did this. What was going through that Ivy League caliber mind of yours when you wrote this, Casey? Chris, I just, you know, I've been such a headache since I've been here that I want to do something special. I want to surprise you. Oh, surprise me. Well, surprised. I'm very surprised. Why are you so angry? Because it's not true. It never happened. What? There's no way Tony and I are getting married, ever. But you two are perfect for each other. I can't believe it. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, too. But uh, apparently I have some stiff competition. She turned you down for another man? No, worse. She turned me down for a job in Tampa. Why are you so suspicious of her? I don't know. Maybe it's because, in order to meet a simple, salt-of-the-earth kind of guy, you're asking for a hundred grand. I have expenses. Hmm. How much could it cost to get into a singles bar? Oh, please. You're talking to the new me. The new me is looking for a man with vision and intelligence and... High moral standards. You don't meet men like that in a bar. You don't meet men like that, period. Exactly. That's why I need to position myself so that I can meet a decent man, like a young doctor who's dedicated to helping people. Aren't you a nurse? Maybe you could get a job, or is that thinking too small? No, 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 no. They took away my license. It's not that simple. I'm, I'm persona non grata at the hospital. Latin? I'm impressed. Thank you. See, I've always seen myself as more of the management type, and that's where your investment would come in. With $100,000, I can open up a free medical clinic on the east side, you know, where a lot of families don't have insurance. Wow. And, uh, well, who'd manage this clinic? Moi. 
two languages. Now, maybe you could work for the United Nations. Uh, I'm serious. Look, with my experience running a clinic, it'd be a snap, and I'd have all of these idealistic doctors working under me, so to speak. And it won't be long before one of them decides that he wants to spend the rest of his life with a sexy but upstanding catch like myself. So what do you say? Oh, come on, put up the money. Help all of those needy families get the medical attention that they deserve. David? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No. <laughs> no, not at all. It's just, I'm just enjoying you immensely. <laughs> I wasn't intending to be funny. That's the beauty of it. Your, your plan captures the essence of American capitalism, uh, achieving material, self-serving goals through ostensibly selfless acts. Great, it's... so you can fork over the dough or not? Well, I'm thinking about it. You think I'm going to do something stupid, like take the money and run away, don't you? Well, I hope not. I won't. I promise. <sighs> well, I've always been a gambling man. You'll do it? Hmm. I mean, a belly laugh like that is priceless. So, uh, what did you say? It was, uh, 100,000, right? Yeah. Uh, for starters, I guess the, the burn unit can wait. Burn unit? Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm sure all of those poor, uninsured burn victims will get care someplace else until I can come up with another $100,000. Mm. Say no more. 200,000 it is. Really? Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't want to be responsible for them suffering on my account. Oh, I don't see you, Cameron and Amanda. Well, I'm sure that... Excuse me, honey, I've got some catching up to do with an old friend. Gary, don't. After what she's done? Gary, please, this isn't any easier for me. She's my least favorite person in the world now that her husband's dead. But tonight is already uncomfortable trying to make a new start with Cameron and Amanda. I know how difficult this is for you. So please, please don't make it harder by starting something with Cindy. As satisfying as it may be. All right. I'll be with you every step of the way. I can't believe you've forgiven me. Well, I have. And Amanda has, too. You love me. Mm -hmm. Amanda doesn't even like me. And this is Boca Linda. I've had the distinct feeling that she'd like to give me a good punch in the face. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi. There you are. Mm -hmm. Hope we're not late. No, you're right on time. Okay. How you doing, Josie? Fine. Thanks. Congratulations. I, I really mean that. You too, Amanda. Well, I guess this makes us sisters-in-law. Yeah. Yeah, pretty weird. I guess we'll get used to it. They say some sister-in-laws never warm up to each other. Well, I'm hoping we're going to be the exception. I mean, after all, my sister-in-law was brave enough to tell me when I was being a pompous twit. <laughs> She's really okay with this. Hey, we're married, aren't we? Yes. Yes, you are. I guess I've learned that people can do a lot of things when they're pushed to the edge. Thank you. Okay, now that we've gotten through the preliminaries, let's try sitting down, huh? Okay. I'm okay. all for that. Maybe this will really work out after all. Mm -hmm. I better warn Sony about this. She's not going okay, to be... Okay, Chris, what the Too hell late. is this? Is this some kind of joke? Actually... Is this your way of getting back at me, this? Sony, huh? I am not the one. You need to ask your sister how this happened. What did you have to do with this? Uh, well, I did have something to do. Yeah, well, I'm glad you hate me so much. I don't hate you. I was trying to do something nice. I just kind of jumped the gun. What does that mean? Well, I knew that Chris was going to ask you to marry him, but I had no idea that you would turn a man like that down or a ring like that down. What ring? You didn't give me a ring. I never had a chance. You started going off about your job, made it clear where your priorities were. What? A ring? You... Ring. It's a shiny, circular object with a rock in the middle. Usually means till death do us part, unless you get a better offer in Tampa. That's not fair. That's not fair, Chris. You never proposed to me. I didn't know you were going to propose to me. I... You're the one who's afraid of commitment. Yeah, I was. Yeah, what, you're not now? I don't know what I am anymore, Tony. I mean, there I was with this, this ring in my pocket. You blow me off over some job. I thought commitment was a two-way thing. 
Oh, what, so married women are supposed to have careers? Is that it? Tony, what I'm saying is when you get married, your priorities got to change. Your, your family has to come first. If you're a woman. Are you listening to this, oh. Casey? Um, you uh, see how sexist he can be? Uh, I, I'm just an intern. I don't have an opinion. Here we go with the twisting of the words. You know, this, we, this is crazy. We're right back where we were a couple months ago. What does that mean? You know, a couple months ago when uh, you kept saying I wasn't sensitive enough and you're you not. kept quoting the love lady's advice when you found out I was the love lady all along. What? What the hell are you talking about, But just goes to prove that I am sensitive. You just refuse to admit it. Oh, yeah, you're so sensitive, you offer me a ride to the airport. Thank you very much. Oh, come much. on, Tony. I, I was trying to be supportive. Damn it, you mean to tell me you can't tell how badly no, I want you to stay? No, how no, much I, I would miss you if No, you I can't tell. But maybe this will convince you. For the record, Tony, I don't want you to go. You don't? I'd go crazy without you. You would? I couldn't leave you, Chris. I don't know what I was thinking. I love you so much. I love you too. Charlie? Charlie, honey, are you here? It's Dad! Charlie! Frankie, this is all my fault. I let that woman get to me and I let her get to Charlie. And now she's run off and I don't have any idea where she is. And I'm scared. I wish so much that you were here. You'd know where Charlie went. It's so hard to do this alone. No, I didn't go to the park. Anne said that was the last place that she saw Charlie. So I should check out the park, shouldn't I? Thanks, honey. I could always count on you. I guess her mourning period is over. Yeah, they deserve each other. You leave town for a few weeks and everything changes, huh? You're telling me. Rachel just got back from Key West. Guess who she brought with her? Who? Mm -hmm. Carl. Carl. What? Yeah. Carl's dead. Well, what is it that they say? From Mark Twain, rumors of his death have been greatly exaggerated. Yeah. So where's he been? He made it out of the fire in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Basically, what my mother suspected is true. He had a brain tumor. That's why he said he did all these crazy things. He thought that we were all plotting against him, so he came up with this elaborate plan. So this tumor, what is it? They thought it was uh, inoperable at first. And so that's why Carl let Mom believe that he was dead, because he didn't want her to go through it twice. He had some sort of risky operation, but by some miracle he pulled through. So, he's back. And all is forgiven. Yeah, well, literally means Halliday. Actually, I don't think he's going to have to. Halliday has resigned to being a silent partner. See, your brother here convinced him that he should back off. How'd you do that? Well, Josie supplied me with some photographs showing him in a very awkward position. All right. <laughs> I never thanked you for that, Josie. I realized that you took a risk for me and we weren't exactly on the best of terms then. Well, just think what we can handle now. Hey, we all made mistakes. All of us. Right, but we're adults, at least we're supposed to be. So let's just forgive and forget, because there are a lot of jerks out there that'll walk all over you and stab you in the back, and families need to stick together, okay? So let's just put all that crap behind us, and let's be a family. And for that, here's to family and to the future. Were are you leaving already? Well, why not? You got what you came for. Actually, I was enjoying your company. Huh. Save the flattery for the man who helps you win your bet. Enjoy your windfall. Huh. The man or the money? <laughs> who am I kidding? Money doesn't snore. Hi, yes, hi. When is your next flight to Barcelona? Great. 
Um, I would like one one-way first-class ticket. Cynthia Harrison. Oh, no, thank you. I'll, I'll pay at the airport. Adios. Oh, uh, waiter? Yes, what could I get you? A limousine to the airport. Gary, don't. She's not worth it, please. Don't worry, I won't lose it. Whoa, 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 Cindy. You're not leaving without saying goodbye, are you? Gary, you're back. I, I, I didn't know. It's good to see you. I bet. Let's go outside and talk about old times, shall we? <laughs> I forgot you were here, Casey. Mm, me too. <laughs> That's okay. It's good that you guys start thinking with your hearts instead of your brains. Mm, um, thanks for the advice, kid, but I think we can handle it from here. <laughs> okay, I hope so. Graham, you two don't screw up. I'm trusting you. How could you think I could choose a job over you? Well, it looks like you were going to take it. I mean, it's the only thing I could count on. No. You can count on me. Are you scared? Yes. <laughs> but I'm a hell of a lot more scared of living the rest of my life without you. When I heard you and Josie talking about... You heard us? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry, I know I should have, but I... I heard you talking about us and the future and everything, and I got... At first, I got really scared. But then I started thinking... Thinking what? That there is... No thing, no one on this entire planet that means more to me than you. No one ever won. <laughs> Antoinette Burrell, will you marry me? think that I was gonna let you leave town without having to deal with me. I thought that maybe after some time away that you wouldn't be angry anymore. I, no, I'm, I'm still very angry. Matter of fact, angry doesn't even come close. All right. I, just, I deserve everything you say to me, but Gary, I am so sorry for what I put you through. <laughs> no, you're just angry that you didn't get away with it. No, you really don't understand, do you? I had to point the finger at somebody. Uh, they were going to pin that murder on me, and I was innocent. So was I. Yeah, but everybody went to bat for you. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves you. Mm -hmm. And they would have let me rot. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Hmm? Let me guess. What could it possibly be? Could it be that maybe that you're a selfish, evil bimbo without a conscience whatsoever? Hmm? Could that possibly be it? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's me. Rotten to the core. Mm -hmm. That's why I was going to try to get away from here and start over someplace far away. So will you just really? let me get Gary? to the limo? No. Okay, what's going on? Well, Gary here was just telling me how much he hates me, but really, why dwell on the negative, huh? Let's focus on the positive. You two are obviously back together again, and I'm happy. So why don't you go be happy? Live your happy lives together and let me go. No, don't you wish it were that easy. <laughs> of course I'll marry you. <laughs> You will. <laughs> you mean it. I'm not the one with the commitment problem, you know? Oh. Mm. Mm. I won't disappoint you. Yes, you will. No, no, I won't. No. You will, and I will disappoint you, and it'll be okay because I love you so much. I love you. Mm. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> oh, God. Uh. With this ring, I pronounce us engaged. 
Whoa, engage. <laughs> that wasn't so How bad, was it? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So, uh, you two mm. work things out? Mm. I think that we did. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're engaged. Congratulations. Oh, that's the first time I've seen you happy for me. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen you do something so smart. <laughs> oh, gosh, welcome to the family, boss. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so, um, mm. did you two figure out your future? Well, we got engaged already. Come on, give us a break. Is she always this much of a nag? Yeah, I'm the easygoing of the two. <laughs> okay, I meant your jobs. Tampa, I've already accepted the job. So what are you going to do about it? What do you mean, what are we going to do? I mean, we both got great jobs, and one of us has got to turn one down. Who's it going to be? looking for you. Are you all right? Let me take a look at you. I guess. We were so worried about you. There was this man and he was really creepy and he was following me. Did he hurt you? No, I ran away too fast. I was so scared I would find him. Oh, baby, don't you worry. Everything's okay. All right, I'm here. We're going to find your daddy. He's so worried. Let's go look for him, okay? Come on. Come with me. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. You're scared. No, no, no. No, I'm just a little startled. That's all. Um, why don't we just go sit down here for a minute? We'll be fine as long as we stay with Okay. 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 All right. I wish my dad was here. I'm here, sweetheart. You're gonna be just fine. It's nothing but a silly old story. For me and my girl. La, 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 I don't la. care if you know the words. I'm just <laughs> glad you're here. Why are you looking for me anyway? What do you mean, why was I looking for you? I was worried about you. Yeah, but you and Dad broke up. You guys called off the wedding. Honey. Now, you listen to me, Charlotte Frame Winthrop. No matter what happens between me and your dad, I love you. Me. I love you. You got it? Good. <laughs> Charlie! Where are you, Charlie? Honey, I thought I heard you. We're over here. Oh She's okay. She's fine. Do you know how worried you had me? Oh, God. I'm sorry. Don't ever do that to me again. You understand me? I'm sorry. I scared you. I scared myself, too. As long as you're all right. Why did you run off like that? Did Anne have anything to do with this? I thought so. But it wasn't her fault. She just told me the truth and how she didn't really care about me and she was just using me because she liked you. And it kind of hurt, you know? So I started running and I got lost. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I'll always find you, sweetheart. I'm here. And so is Lila. We love you. Yeah, we do. Does that mean you guys are back together? Yes, it does. We're all together now. And that's all that matters. Yeah, 
forget you, sure, Cindy. I'll forget how you blackmailed me, threatened my job, my marriage, and the last seven months of torture I, I won't even think twice about. That really would be the healthiest thing, you know. Yes, it would be, and while I'm at it, I won't even think about that, that little fight we had on the docks, the one that sent me into labor. Well, you gotta let it go sometime. I would love to, Cindy, but there's just one problem. I have a picture in my head of a little baby. My son, who never had a chance. Okay, now, that you cannot pin on me. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'm not the one who decided to sleep with my brother-in-law and then lie about it. Now, wait a second. No, Gary, you had your chance. Ah! I feel so much better now. Oh, me too. Let's go home. Mm. nicer places for a midnight swim. Somebody pushed me in! Now, who would do a thing like that? Oh, stop it! Half the population of Bay City would like to drown me. That's why I was trying to leave. With my check? Yes, with your check. I was going to screw you over, and I can't even do that right. I'm a complete failure. Well, I have to agree. You, you don't have the moral fiber, to be honest, and you... You don't have the ingenuity to be dishonest. No, I can so. be honest. I can be honest. I'm just a little out of practice. Give me another chance, please. Sorry. Please. Bet's a bet. You regressed your former habits, so I get to keep my million, and you get to, well, live with yourself. Why bother living? I have no money and no prospects. Well, here's an idea, Cindy. Get a job! Who would hire me? Well, I guess I could find you something. Are you offering me a job? Yes, I think I am. Then it must be true what they say. All rich people really are crazy. Oh, what? Well, I don't know. But... Why else would you offer a job to a woman that you know has lied and cheated over and over, who has proven to be completely inept at everything she has ever attempted, and who looks like she was just trampled by a herd of water buffalo? Well, you're a handful, but I figure it's better to keep me close so I can... Make sure you don't do any more damage to me or to yourself. And as far as your appearance, I've never seen you look more beautiful. I can't let you pass up an opportunity like this. I mean, you'd be police captain of a major I city. Know. Meanwhile, you're here at the Herald on the fast track to being editor-in-chief. Yeah, but they have newspapers in Tampa. Yeah, but you'd have to prove yourself all over again. So if you stay here, you'd be working under Joe Carlino, which means you stand about as much chance of becoming police captain anytime soon as I do playing center for the Bulls. Which way they play this year, you just never know. Come on, Casey. Look, if someone doesn't put you guys along, you'll never make a decision. Casey, that's what we're trying to do, okay? We're trying to figure this out. Okay, well, I figured it out for you. Okay, unless Tony plans on commuting down to Florida every day, one of you is gonna have to give up a job. Yeah, we know. We got that part. <sighs> Look, you stay here and keep your job, and I'll just say no to the people in Tampa. No, no, no I can't let you pass up an opportunity like this, well, baby. What would you do in Tampa? Well, I'll find something eventually, right? I mean, if I'm lucky, another newspaper. You know, someone's gotta give up something. 
Save it for college, okay? Look, Chris, you're not going to give up your career for me, and I'm not going to give up my career for you, so we just have to figure it out. That's all. How? or anything, but Josie and Gary never came back. Really? I didn't notice. I was too busy looking at you. That's very sweet, but um, aren't you a little worried? Nope. No. What if they killed Cindy? I think that they're at home and they're in bed, and I hope that they're <laughs> as much as in love as we are right now at this very moment. Tonight went well, didn't it? Yeah. And they have you to thank. Me? Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the way you buried the hatchet with Josie. Couldn't you see how relaxed she was getting? It was like this burden of guilt had finally been lifted. Well, Made me feel good, too. I guess I kind of... <laughs> I guess I kind of figured that I didn't really have a reason to be jealous anymore. Of anyone. I have everything that I want. Mm -hmm. And I'd like a couple of kids. Nice big house. Dog. You know what I want. What? I want you to shut up and kiss me. I don't usually talk to dead people, but um, I wanted you to know that I meant well. I felt so guilty for so long for helping that horrible man go free. I'm so sorry. It cost you your life and it cost Charlie her mom and Cass a wife. And all I wanted to do was make it up to them but I made things so much worse. They don't need anything from me. They've got Lila. And their memories of you and each other. I am glad that I got to know your family. strange way I, I got to know you too. Oh, oh uh, don't worry about Cass and Charlie. They're in great hands. I am never letting any girl that I love out of my sight ever again. And that goes for big girls, too. Oh, so now he's going to keep me under lock and key. You worse, hear that? worse. I'm going to marry you. Uh, and no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But! I said no buts. As but, of this moment, the wedding is on. Understood? Will you let me talk now? Yes. It depends on what she has to say. I was going to say yes. But I don't want to wait. Every time we wait, something happens, Cass. Something gets in the way. I, I just want to get married, and I want to get married right away. Well, that sounds good to me. Okay. We won't leave any time for fights, misunderstandings, or runaway children. We'll get married real soon. <laughs> How soon? Day after tomorrow. <gasps> Great. Perfect. <laughs> no, I mean, that means we won't have much time to plan anything elaborate. Oh, no, it has to be big, Cass. Oh, please say it'll be big. <laughs> Let it be big. Let's invite the whole town, even people we don't know. Even people we don't like. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say, Charlie? How do you feel about a wedding? I feel like we'll be a family again, the way Mom would have wanted. Did you hear that? Well, I don't have any chums. But I know someone who does. And I have the feeling she's smiling down on us right now. Stay tuned for scenes from tomorrow's show. How could you say that? How could you say that? It's not what you think. Let me take care of it. Let me take care of it. I've decided to leave Bay City for good. I'm going to go back to China.
ABC Tonight. A man dies during routine surgery. Who's at fault? Tonight on day.